All right, a few moments ago, I told you about a newly signed law in Tennessee that now makes it illegal to or makes it legal to arm teachers in public schools in an effort to reduce shootings in schools. That makes sense, right? For more on this, I'm joined by two gun safety advocates whom you may recognize from their fierce protests last year in the Tennessee State House following a school shooting in which six people were killed. The Democratic State Representatives Justin Jones and Gloria Johnson. Friends, thank you for being with us this morning and for your continued fight for the safety of our students and our, our, our citizens. Uh, Representative Jones, you posted on X that House Speaker Cameron Sexton is growing drunk with power and that we are, quote, witnessing the death of democracy uh, in light of what happened with this vote. Talk to me about what you see happening here. You, your state surprised me again in that there were lots of options between doing nothing and doing something, and they seem to have skipped through all the, the more productive possibilities and, and went for this fairly absurd one. Yes, Ali. Well, this is a very um, sad time for Tennessee. Um, the trauma of our community is once again coming to the surface because um, at the end of session, my Republican colleagues decided to push forward and push through this asinine, insane bill to arm teachers as the gallery was full of Tennesseans, teachers, mothers, students, clergy, begging them not to, including families who, whose children are, are at Covenant, at the Covenant School, including families who have lost loved ones in shootings here in Nashville. And rather than hear them, the Republicans pushed this bill forward by cutting off debate and then having the gallery cleared of the public and media when the people in the gallery chanted, shame on you, and that there's blood on your hands. Um, they had me censured for recording my constituents being drug out the gallery by state troopers. And so I said on, on, online that this is fascism. This is a step against democracy, against, you know, toward authoritarianism and toward this, this you know, just shameful um, trajectory of arming um, our schools more and more, putting more guns in schools when people have been begging for a year for common sense gun laws that protect kids and not guns. And the governor, by signing that bill, has spit in the face of these families. He is a coward and he is somebody who is going to be on the wrong side of history here in Tennessee. And there were such other options that have been used in other places in America that are that have bipartisan support. I mean, there's there's per, there's possibly no better example of anti-democratic work than understanding how many Tennesseans and Americans support common sense gun legislation and then doing what your legislature did. Uh, Representative Johnson, uh, I didn't ha have a chance to have you on the show on Friday night when I had uh, I, I, I had uh, Representative Pearson on, but I ran a clip of you in the House sort of explaining to people as a former educator we ask a lot of teachers we don't pay them enough we have shortages of them we ask more we decided by the way during the pandemic that they are essential workers and we really need them and trust them and yet now you're asking them to to, to, to strap on a pistol uh, as opposed to a, a the type of guns that are generally used in these assaults which are much more powerful than a pistol and then you are asking an educator whose job it is to protect kids to maybe shoot at another kid Instead of keeping your kids safe, you may be targeting someone who may have been your student, which they may be a bad person. They may be doing something bad, but that's not how teachers are built. Absolutely not. You put teachers in that sort of a situation. Uh, we know in a gun battle with trained police officers, they only shoot with 18 percent accuracy. Imagine a teacher with far less training in a shoot back and forth situation. When there are kids everywhere, when you miss, it's a child that could be killed. And the reality of this is we have done everything and we'll keep trying to prevent the guns from ever getting in to the schoolhouse door. We want the guns to not get near the schoolhouse door. They are trying to bring the gun battle into the classroom. You know, teachers have to, to do they have to teach, they're nurses, they're social workers, they're counselors. And now you expect a second grade teacher, if she hears something out in the hall, to leave her classroom to go check on it? These guys have no understanding of what it's like to be in a classroom or in a schoolhouse. And they need to start listening to teachers. And I can tell you that teachers did not come to them with the legislation. Every major county has already said no. Since this is permissive, we are not arming teachers. They've said no. No one asked them for this bill. Yeah. And yeah, well, well somebody, is somebody them, we, the question is, is well, it no one or is it or is it lobbies that that continue it's, to it's, cause these legislators to do things that are completely not in the interests of their not in the interests or don't have the support of their voters? 
Exactly. It's the NRA and the Tennessee Firearms Association. That's exactly who it is. The lobbyists run that show, and boy, we never saw it bigger That's than incredible. the last day of session when they were gathered around the TV to see if we gave that corporate $1.8 billion tax break. And, and then the last person I saw, I saw one person that whole last week in the Capitol that was for arming teachers. Yeah. One person, one day. But every other day, two, two times, students had rallies there. The parents and teachers and all the people that um, Rep. Jones talked about, they were there every day yep. of session, and there were a lot of them. Representative Jones, uh, Representative Johnson makes an interesting point. I spoke to uh, a woman from a school board, I think it was Williamson County, uh, on, on Friday night where their superintendent said, no way. Uh, there are a lot of uh, school superintendents and, and school boards and counties in Tennessee that have said, no way. So the, the state tried, to, the governor tried to sort of say, hey, we're not changing anything. It was kind of like the fall of Roe, right? We're not changing anything. We're just giving it to everybody to make their own decisions. But in this particular case, unlike abortion rights, a number of your counties have said, thanks for, the, thanks for the permission, we're not going down this road. I mean, that's exactly right. And I wish the governor would give Tennesseans the right to have this on the ballot because 70% of Tennesseans want common sense gun laws like universal background checks, safe storage, a ban on assault weapons, red flag laws. The majority of Tennesseans um, across political spectrum want this and the governor has not heard them. So I wish they would put it on the ballot. But Ali, I've been thinking deep and hard about what this is about. And I've been hearing from a lot of families that even this idea of allowing guns in our schools, parents are afraid to send their kids mm -hmm. to schools. What I think this is really about is that the governor is mad that his private of public schools bill failed this session. And so this is a way to further undermine public education. So I want to connect the dots between these, this proliferation of guns and their attack on public schools. Because what we're hearing is that people are afraid to send their kids to schools. So what was the thing they did after the voucher bill died to try and privatize our schools? The coward Ryan Williams, my colleague from... Um, from Cookville said, we're going to push through this bill to arm teachers. And now parents are scared to send their kids to public yep. schools. Yep. That's really what the goal is, I think, Ali. I really yeah. think that's the, the premise of this legislation. I, I want my kids going to a place where there's yet more guns in the school. I'd like zero guns in the schools. Uh, thanks to both of you. Uh, it is it is remarkable what you have both done and, and your other colleagues have done uh, for democracy and for standing up for it. When they tell me, you know, there's not enough younger people getting involved in politics and it's all it's all, you know, corporatized and all that. I point to you, Tennessee 3, uh, to remind people there are a lot of people fighting the battle right out there all the time, and we should be proud of that. Thank you. Democratic uh, Tennessee State Representative Justin Jones and Gloria Johnson. We'll be right back.